are you going to do, Craig? Shirley, she has some valuable information for you. It may help. Did Shirley say what this information was? No. Where is Shirley? In her room. What's the idea? What's the matter with you? Well, Bush off. Well, what do you mean by doing this to me? Oh, sure. You come on here no, with I'm me. You come on here with here. me. Leave me alone, I tell you. Oh, I get it. This is an outrage. Well, you pay me for this. Yeah. I'll deal yes, you with yes, sure. Just a minute. What's the trouble here? What's the matter, Walter? I found him on the grounds, and he was acting in a very suspicious manner. But, Louie, what's the trouble? Oh, I came to see you, and this man, he insulted me. Oh, I'm sorry. I guess I made a mistake. Mrs. Geronda heard loud voices, and she's very much upset. I guess we'd better go to your mother. Just tell your mother that there's nothing to worry about. I shall. Hurry back, Jameson. Why did you come back tonight? I have something of great importance to tell you. Surely you could have waited until tomorrow. No. Tomorrow would be too late. I must tell you tonight. Listen. Kennedy has a knife belonging to me. And he suspects me of murder. And as long as he had that knife, I'm in danger. Where is the knife? It must be at Kennedy's laboratory. Well, what do you want me to do? On the sun we takes, I want you to go to Kennedy's laboratory and get that knife, if possible. Will you do it? Yes, I'll do my best. I'm very sorry, Mr. Bouchard, to have caused you any inconvenience. Quite all right, sir. By the way, Miss McMillan, those papers you intended to show me, will you bring them with you and call at my laboratory tomorrow? Certainly. Thank you. Good night, Mr. Bouchard. Good night. Good night. Good night, Mr. McMillan. Good night. Good night. Good night. What luck! Look at this knife carefully. The one that Kennedy has is identical.
Jenkins. I'm going out and I'm expecting a caller. Tell the lady to wait. I'll be back in a few minutes. Very well, sir. an appointment with Mr. Kennedy. Mr. Kennedy is out. He will be back any minute. Wait here, please. Thank you. How do you do, Miss McMillan? How do you do? I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I had some business to attend to. Oh, that's perfectly all right. I just arrived. Did you bring the papers? Yes, I did. They're right over here. Thank you, Miss McMillan. I should like to impress upon you, if I may, that any document or any object you may find might be of great value. I'll remember, Mr. Kennedy. I'm awfully sorry about that little affair last night. By the way, Miss McMillan, may I ask how long you have known uh, Mr. Bouchard? Oh, for quite some time. I'm sure you will find everything there, Mr. Kennedy. Thank you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Oh, hello, Shirley. How are you? Very well, thank you. Ooh, sort of cold in here. Say, Craig, did she get the knife? Yes, she got a knife, but not the one knife I expected her to take. No? Now, look here. I want you to follow her and don't lose sight of her. Just as good as done, boy. <laughs> Good afternoon. Will you please inform your master, Mr. Bouchard, that Mr. Duval is here and would like to see him? Won't you come in? Thank you. If you'll kindly have a chair, I will inform Mr. Bouchard. Thank you. Mr. Duval. I am very happy to see you, sir. My dear Bouchard, I see uh, you have a very valuable collection of knives. Oh, my collection is very small, but uh, I am very proud of it. <laughs> You're entirely too modest. Hello, and how's my Shirley? Oh, splendid, thank you, Louis.
Did you get it? Yes. Fine. Come here, will you please, dear? I want you to meet Monsieur Duval, also a knife collector. Miss Macmillan, Monsieur Duval. How do you do? How do you do? And now, to business. Uh, Monsieur Bouchard, I do hope you shall not be disappointed, as I have uh, brought only one knife from my collection. But it is a very valuable one. As you can see. It can't be possible. What can't be possible, Louis? That knife. Well, I thought I, I had the only one of that pattern in existence. Wait, monsieur, I will show you mine. That is my knife! A knife like this in the whole world! Yes, Bouchard, you are quite right. It is your knife. And it may interest you to know that the man who last handled this knife is a murderer. Just a minute, please, Miss McMillan. Mr. Kennedy! What is the meaning of this? Now, if you'll just calm yourself, I'll explain. Do you mean to accuse me of murder? You have admitted that the knife is yours. But he didn't kill anyone. I'm sure of that. I'm afraid you're a very poor advocate for Bashar. Didn't you steal a knife from my laboratory? Yes, I did. But I did it for Louis's sake. The disgrace would have killed his mother, even if he were only under suspicion. It is true, monsieur. What do you know about the knife, Gaston? I was playing cards. I lost. Then I barred with a knife of security. I want you to tell me who gave you the money for the knife. The man I played cards with. He first took my money, then the knife. Would you recognize this man if you saw him again? Why, yes, sir. I will never forget him. Where did you play cards with him? At the Harbor Hotel. Well, of course, you would like to make amends to Monsieur Boucher, would you not? Why, yes, sir. Well, then you'll come with me to the Harbor Hotel and do exactly as I tell you. Now, for the time being, we'll let matters rest. Come, Gaston. guy works with the knife collectors downstairs. He wants to see you. Hasn't he lost enough already? Where are you going? That easy mark is downstairs. He's looking for me. I guess he wants a game. I just saw him down the street talking to a couple of guys. They look like cops to me. Cops, huh? Yeah. Say, that fellow downstairs is getting nervous. Tell him to meet me over in the hallway at 506. I'll be right over. I'll take care of him. Well, did you see him? Yes. 
I am to meet him in front of 506. I see. Now remember, don't you forget our signal. The minute he comes out, you light the cigarette. Very well. Don't go, Joe. It might be a frame-up. Oh, I know what I'm doing. I guess you do. Gave the signal, Carlos. Where is he? Carlos, where is he? He's dead, Craig. Call an ambulance. All right. I'll look this place over. See that all my orders are carried out. What a surprise, Mr. Kennedy, for both of us. Now that you're here, I have another surprise. Pleasant for me, and very unpleasant for you. You don't think I came here without protection, do you? Let them come. They can have what's left of you, Craig Kennedy. <laughs> <laughs> 